Yes, 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 sir. We're back whenever. So welcome back to the Hoodie and the Headband Podcast show. We got a special all-star weekend edition episode for you guys. It's your boy Bryce. Join with my dog. Three. Yes, sir. You know, all-star duo, live in effect. Here to bring you an all-star preview. Best weekend in, in the NBA regular season, I would say. Sure. Been that way for a long time. Been that way for a minute since I was legit. Hey, since before I even came on this earth. But yeah, man, I'm excited. Should be a fun weekend. Should be a good weekend. You know, uh, we got a lot of, a lot of um things planned, or or, or a lot. I don't. Why we we have nothing planned. The only thing we have planned is to watch all of this, all what what the NBA got planned. The NBA got plans. The NBA got plans. All right, but. Yeah. Um. Enough of me talking. Let's get into it. Um. Tariq, why am I doing lighter flicks like I'm Lil Wayne? Oh. Um, <laughs> Tariq, you know I gotta ask you. <laughs> you know, I gotta ask you. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I can't complain. Ankle still hurt like a mug, but they, oh, she missed that. Um. But you know, we maintain it. Uh-huh. Week over, well, the week will be over when y'all listen to this, but we're recording this on Thursday night, so week is almost over, and it's going to be a busy weekend uh, in terms of what, I, what I'll be watching. Mm-hmm. Naomi lost today, so I, I was a little mad going back into work. I was in here stressing. Now, I said, I've been saying for the past couple of years that I don't really get like super, super invested in my teams, or I don't like they don't really affect my mentals. Yeah. The one person, the one sport that does is Naomi, bro. Mm. Like, Rafa to an extent, I'll be mad, but I'm like, man, he got 20, 23, 20. Like, he good. I, I'll be like, nah, Naomi, like, because you can see it. You can see, like, the flashes of, like, her, like, being back. And then it's like, there's a couple of, like, moments where I'm like, ah, like, she just took that chance or didn't take that chance would be money but it is what it is you know she got to the quarterfinals uh only her i think third tournament back maybe fourth so we, we we'll take what we got right now um it's only february long season so we, we locked in though i'm watching on the phone i'm going to the tablet i'm going to the back to the phone you know, I'll be superstitious with it and shit. So I'm like, all right, we, we doing good right now, so I can't move. And then I had to move it to the tab for a reason, and then I came back. And then I was leaving, so I, ugh, it was a lot going on. But I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah. on the edge of my feet. Like, got, I'm like, like this, not even, look, I'm like, looking at the screen, like, I don't even want to look. Just listen to the commentary. And then, like, when the child, when the crowd cheers, I'm like, all right, I mean, she scored. I mean, she did it. Because when the crowd, when the crowd wasn't cheering, I knew, Oh girl, because the crowd was hilarious the whole whole tournament, bro. You like Saquon Barkley in the crowd watching her? What was Saquon do? What Saquon do? Have you seen that video of Saquon Barkley watching the U.S. Open? He's just like, oh, uh, he's like I going used- back and forth with the ball. He's like, I used to do that. I used yeah. to do that. Where I'd be like, <laughs> I used to do that like before COVID, like or like during COVID when she was. uh when she's playing the U.S. Open, because I get, like, superstitious. I'm like, all right, I need to sit this way. I need to stand right here. I need to, like, not get on my phone. Or I'm like, all right, I get on my phone every every commercial break. Like, just just dumb shit that don't actually, like, help her win. It just, in my head, this is what I got to do to make sure she was Good block, her kid. Yeah, um, bro, I be sports superstitious. I'm not that superstitious, but when it comes to sports, I'm a little superstitious. Just a TC thing. That, that's a fact. I don't, I don't, I'm sure outside of sports, worried. Outside of sports, I don't do nothing like that. But when it comes to that, I'll be like, nah. I have, certain shirts I have certain things I do. Like, certain things I'll be, like, in line or in place. Like, like whatchamacallit? Like, I can't go out on a night when one of my teams is playing a big game. Like, if – because during the summertime, is W season. And Aces. Aces. Oh, my bro. I'm oh, oh, I head out she right after this Aces game. Cause see, I remember I was out, and if I'm out, my team playing, they losing. I seen Duke beat. I seen Duke losing North Carolina in the Final Four, at the spot. 
And I told people, I was like, look, I'm, I don't know if I'm going out tonight, do playing. I, and then like they talked me into it. And I was like, you know what? Fine. <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be a fun environment. Everybody's going to be watching the game anyway. It'll be a fun environment. So we went to the spot that I knew where the game was going to be played. And it was a fun environment, but we lost. We lost. I had a hoodie on that night. It was warm. I was like, look, I got a sweatshirt on that night. I was like, look. She's already 21. And lost. I put that sweatshirt on. I was like, no, nah, y'all ain't about to get you. Yeah, no, y'all ain't about to heckle me all night. No, sir, not tonight. She or, is already 21 points ahead of Kit, uh, Kelsey Plum. Crazy. Just broke the record tonight. She's already 21 points ahead. Good luck to Juju Walker. That's who's coming next. <laughs> that's who's coming for that record. Because she got four years for sure. For sure. Yeah, man. How about you, bro? Oh, I'm all right, man. I'm maintaining, bro. It's cool. Um, oh, that's a dumb shot. What's gonna call it? Um, uh oh. So um, I'm good though. Things are good. Things are cool. I'm working on a couple things as always. Always working. Um. Really so for one, breezy. Really just been trying to maintain, but um, uh, but yeah. Yo, Jay, you knock on the door. Recording. Yeah, I'm recording. What's up? All right, guest text me. But yeah, uh, first and foremost, you know, as we slightly mentioned just now, um, congratulations to Caitlin Clark on surpassing Kelsey Plum for having an all-time scoring record, and she did it in the four seasons. That is important to note. She did it in the four seasons. Also did it in under three minutes. Yes, of that game. Scored first eight points. He's got twenty six at half right now. I got him um, down from the from the logo, like for real, for real. She almost caught a body on a fast break too. Proceeded, proceeded to go crazy afterwards, doing step backs. She did the hardest step back from the logo. I was like, "What? Like, come on!" It's disrespectful. Yeah, one see. four point play from the logo, and of course you got them Kobe's on. Yeah, those Kobe's two, on. those two wasn't the logo. <laughs> no, I thought you got the and one from the logo. The four point play. That one was, but the first, the the hardest step back wasn't the logo. No, no, not the hardest step, not the hardest step, but 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 everything else. But that one was close to the league. Yeah, that that shit was OD. Because if you get an and one from the logo, that means somebody contested contested. Like imagine how how hard people got to contest for a logo three for you to get a, a M one. It's crazy. Sorry, she got twenty eight. Not twenty six. Yeah, yeah, she she scored twenty eight. That's why I said she almost got thirty. Heading in a half, she gonna get sixty. Um, I won't be surprised if she does get sixty in this game. I said that she's going for a whole different record now. Sixty. How she was hooking, you know. I mean. You no, know, she saw. I know everybody seen Juju Watkins a couple weeks ago. Do what she did. Drop what fifty one. Yeah, drop one. Hey, Caitlin said, "Hey, I want to join that fifty point club too." She, I want to, I want to join a sixty. Anybody drop sixty in college? In women's? I believe so. I just don't remember off the top of my head who did it. Let me check. Word. But yeah, no, shout out to Caitlin, though, man. So inspirational. But, um, but yeah, we got. Oh, ankle uh, update. Ankle is feeling better. Must be nice. Still a little sore, a little tender, but I mean, hey, we good now. Not going through the same hurt, same pain. Put weight on it, whatever. But, um, but yeah, we got All Star Weekend festivities, man. Starting with Friday, we got the All Star um, Celebrity All Star Game, um, which you know is always a fan favorite. Um, dog on you got. I don't know the whole list, but I know some of the notable names. I know Asia Wilson and Jason Tatum are like assistant coaches. I know um, CJ Stroud is playing. I know Costinette is playing. Um, Guy that plays Magic Johnson and winning time is playing, which they need to bring back. Um, those are the notable names I saw, but um, I don't know. I think Kyson that's gonna be funny. He posted a little, little hoop mixtape, ball side mixtape of him playing against like kids, and 
I thought that was pretty funny. Cause like, bro, he 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 was in the gym, like suited up, whatever. Came in all serious, like just like how like you know regular balls like videos start off and stuff. And next thing you know, you see him playing. It's a bunch of like kids, bro. Like fifth, sixth grade, sixth grade kids. He playing up against. And it's funny because some of them are like even his height are taller. But yeah, so you got all star um, celebrity game. Then you got um, what else you got next year? I mean not next year, Rising Star uh, Challenge with Paul Gasol, Jalen Rose, and who else was the coach? I want to say it was Paul Jalen, and was it Team Good Cousins? Say it again. Who's the Who's the All Star coaches for the um? Rising stars. Is it Jalen Rose, Paul Gasol, and Tamika Ketchens? Uh, I have no idea. I, have, I didn't look at that, to be honest. I think that's who it is. I can double. I can check right now. But they did draft, they did draft their teams. Let's see. Oh, I did see if they drafted their teams. Yeah, you're right. So. Oh, right. So that's right. Okay. Yeah, you got Team Powell, Team Ketchens, Team Rose, and... Team Detlef. That's cool. Yeah. Um. So, Paul got Vic, Brandon Miller, Hami Hakez, Jabari Smith, um, Brandon Podzimski, Kaysen Wallace, Belia Kulabali, and then. Yeah. Uh, to make a catching got Apollo, Dyson Daniels, Jalen Dern, Keontae George, Scoot Henderson, Jaden Ivey, Keegan Murray, Vince Williams Jr. Jalen Rose has. Oh, okay. Jalen Rose has Jordan Hawkins, Chet Holmgren, Walker Kessler, Derek Lively, Benedict Matherin, Shaden Sharp, Jeremy Sohan, Jalen Williams. Hey, Jalen was the last pick on this team? Uh, I I don't know if that was maybe not the last pick. Oh, these are, oh these are in alphabetical order. I forget they do that. Yeah, because Vic is showing up as the last player on pod scene. All right, so yeah, these are in alphabetical order. All right, and then team Detlef. Oh, all right, Detlef. Uh, uh, shrimp. Sh- sh- shrimp. Okay. Here you hear say these names is hilarious. Oh. He has a team full of G League players. He'd be representing Team G League, G League at night, or other G League players. I might have said I saw Alonis Williams. I was like, I know he ain't no rookie or no sophomore. But yeah, no. He's a G League All Star, which which is cool to see. You know, they, they got some of the G League representation with it. Um No, I remember Jer- I, all right, so Gerald Green recently talked about his experience in the G League and he um he they had All Star Weekend whatever and it was like his agent called him it's like bro, you know you've been selected for the G League All Star game and he's like man I ain't going to that man like you know I've been because he was in the league and he was what was this I think this was lockout season he was talking about it I think I think he okay. said it was lockout season and he said he was back home and what's my call he's back home with his family whatever. Then he got um, oh my, he's back home with his family. Got a call from his agent, told him to come out there to Orlando for the All Star thing. And then he um, he was like, Nah, I don't really feel like I like Brian. I don't play that, bro. Like whatever. Like I don't care about. It. He's like, No, you need to come out here. So he comes out. He plays plays hard in the G League All Star game, and then next thing you know, he got a contract from the Lakers. Yo, Gerald Green. When did he play for the Lakers? It was like a – well, no, he played for the Lakers G League team. Oh. I think he got called up. Yeah. I, Gerald Green in a, in a Lakers uniform. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he got called up, called to the – I don't know. No, 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 no. I messed the story up. See? Because it's not my story, but I messed the story up. But he was playing for the South Bay Lakers, right? And then he went to the G League All-Star game, balled down the G League All-Star game, and then the Nets called him. 
And that's how he got to the mm. Nets, Jersey still. Yup. Bro, he posted that and I watched the whole story. I was like, oh, I said, I said, good thing you did go out there. <laughs> or we wouldn't have had that windmill. Ooh. Come on now. But yeah. Um but yeah, so he's in the G League representation. representation. So he did he did sign with the Lakers. It says on December 13th, he signed with the Lakers. Mm-hmm. That's an opportunity, but he was waived by the Lakers on the 22nd, just days before the season began. On the 28th, he signed with the D- the defenders of the NBA G League or D League at the time. Played the D League All Star game, most of, one most valuable player. Yeah, so he did get signed by the Lakers, but it was before the season, and yeah. then he got caught before the season. Because he was playing some- a Kobe story, where like that was part of his Kobe story, like because he he was like yeah, be, like being around Kobe every day for that time, whatever was inspiring, whatever. For nine- I know, but that's just how much of an impact Kobe had on him, I guess. People just want to have a Kobe story. Nine days. If we know the, the stories we've heard about Kobe and the way he talked about certain players, you, you think he was yeah, never. had conversations with Kobe or had Kobe stories, and they, they've only talked about like that 30 minutes that they were in the room with Kobe. That's why I get I don't mean like he wouldn't say nothing. I just mean like he he was that was the time where he was like, yo, saw yo this, y'all that. Like so he just he just he just giving Joe Green just hella hella info. No, 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 said, no, no, not over the span of nine days. Maybe yeah. I think I think because he was like, I saw it up close. I don't okay. know. If I find a TikTok and send it to you so you can watch it. But yeah. By the way, uh I also leave an LED court. What the hell? You you just you just not seeing that? I'm just looking at all this to see who's in who who's participating in these um events Saturday night. Yeah, I think uh I think it's some Steph and Sabrina doing the the uh LED court. Cause I think they said something about them doing it Friday night for the celebrity game. And then that. But Ioka Lee has the most points all time in a women's basketball game. Sixty one. I feel like it was her, but I don't want to say it was her and somebody else. Like, hey, I know she went crazy like a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah, I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to be called a bandwagon of any sort by saying that she had scored sixty one. So she she has the highest scoring performance in a single game. Kelsey Plum had fifty seven in the game. By the way, I remember, bro. Kelsey Plum in college was so crazy. Wait, there was somebody else. Rachel Bannum, I think 59 or 60. Oh, really? I was like, oh, yeah, she was cooking at Minnesota. But I didn't know she was cooking like that. She had... Two minutes and 12 seconds, Caitlin Clark brought the record in. She had, yeah. She's Two crazy. minutes and 12 seconds. She was like, bro, give me this ball. Wasn't even three minutes, bro. Uh, Rachel Bannum had 60. Bro, she went, she is 10 for 16. Six to nine from three, eight assists. That's a whole game stat line in the first half. Oh, come on, bro. That's that that's crazy. I'm sorry. Excuse me, Lance. That's oh, that game. I was about to say, no way. She shot 94% from the field in the season. I was about to say. If she played every game, you know way. But yeah. She is second uh, time in triple doubles. But we all know who number one is. Who do you think is going to win the Rising Stars Challenge? Rising Stars Challenge. Let me look at the rosters again, man. Jaime. Oh, they got Jaime and Wimpy. They got All right, Kobe. so you, they got Team Jalen against Team Tamika, Team Detlef against Team Paul. Um, and I ain't got a lot. Tamika catches got a squad. Amen. Mika Ketchum's got a squad. Paulo, uh, Jalen Duran, Keegan Murray, School, Jaden Ivy, Keontae George, Dyson Daniels. Oh, no, my Dyson Daniels is injured. I see now. Uh, Fitz Williams is his replacement. I see that. Uh, you got Jordan Hawkins 
on Team Jalen. Chet. I'm ready to see Matas play. Oh, yeah. Matas. Uh, Matas. Ron Holland. Uh, Ron Holland. Injury. Damn. Imani Bates injury replacement. Okay. Imani Bates. Imani Bates has been cooking in the G League, bro. He do be cooking in the G League. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I thought Cooper might have been on here. because I ain't going to lie. You said who? Sharif Cooper. He plays one well in the G League, too. I thought he might have been, been on here. He's been cooking, too, bro. Uh, but I'm glad to see Imani on here. Especially, you know, him and Chet's, like, high school rivalry. Like, they kind of get, I want to say a taste of that, but you got to look at that in this game. Well, no, they don't play each other. They don't play each other. They end up in the final. Um, cool enough. I never mind. I say that. She got 31. All, all the saw team pretty pretty tough, too. You got it. Well, they got Wimby. They going to win. You got Wimby, Jabari, Brandon Miller, Pazimski. You know why they going to win? Because niggas going to actually pass Wimby the ball. Yeah, Jeremy Sohan is on Team Jalen. <laughs> See? Now he going to be out there ball hugging. And uh, they going to be like, oh, bro. But you pass the ball, bro. Uh, if I had to pick a team, though, I would pick Team Jalen. Man. He has a fellow Jalen and Jalen Williams on the squad. He has Jordan Hawkins, Chet, Hogan, and Walker Kessler, Derek Lively. They got a, they got a tall team. Man, give me Pat. Boy, you talking about talent. They ain't, they ain't got Wimpy. Give me, yeah. give me Wimpy, man. And you know Wimpy and Chet going to go at each other. Yeah, I know. Give me Wimpy. It'll be fun. I can't wait to watch it. And give me Jaime. We got Wimpy and Jaime Hawkins. Come on now. I knew you was going to go there with it. I knew you was going to go there with it. Case and Wallace was cool you went to? Uh, some some blue oh. school. Some blue school. Okay. It's only one player on this team. You, we mean, don't you know, I think that's what they refer to as. Uh, Kentucky, I think. Yeah, don't do that. It's yeah. only one player we don't want on this team. We'll trade on them. We'll, uh, give us uh, give us oh, Jordan. Who are you giving up for Brandon Miller? I love this. You do. <laughs> uh, give us either. Give us. Y'all ain't gonna give up. I don't know why Brandon Miller been hooping lately, dog. I don't give. I don't give a damn. Brandon give Miller, me, bro. Give me Jordan Hawkins. He can. He can shoot that motherfucker. Jordan Hawkins for Brandon Miller. Why you say it like that? That's what I'm, I'm just asking. Like that's what I'm asking. Yeah, give me. Give me Jordan Hawkins. Okay. We will put Jordan Hawkins out there. Victor, AirPods, Jaime, and Jamari Smith Jr. AirPods. That's what his name, nickname is. Do you know that? I don't watch the Warriors. Man, watch some Warriors games, man. Then you ain't watching Step. I ain't watching Dub Step. I ain't watching Dumb Nation like that, bro. But I, 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 I'm watching soon. Like I last night. Dang, I don't know. Last night's bad. Steph, man. Draymond, 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 crazy. I don't give a fuck what he be doing. I, mean, I watch Step. <laughs> Wrong with that boy. All right, anyways, rising stars. Um, I think I don't know, like I said, I think Tamika Kessler got the squad. Let's go team pal. Yeah, team pal, team catchings. They gonna cook team team Detlef and they gonna get to the to the final. I miss just the rookie in the sophomore game. Honestly. Yeah. This is a lot. Team this, captain this... and drafting or or like when they had like the mixed years, you know? Where it's like they draft world. rookies in the oh, I, didn't, I mean the world USA versus the world was cool too, but I I liked when they USA ain't try. Huh? Because USA ain't try. No. But was... I like when it was two people, you know, like team boom. Team Chuck versus Team Shaq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I felt like they could have did like Team Rose against Team Team Catchings to mm. Indiana and uh, former Indiana players. I didn't even think about that. I mean, I see that's why they're picked for captains here. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. I yeah. didn't even think. About that. I saw. I heard Tamika and was like, "Oh, she must be coaching somewhere or something." No. Just because it's in Indiana. But yeah, no. So yeah, Team Catchings, <laughs> Team Team Rose, and then they pick between. Oh, them. So good. I'm on that stuff, man. I think that was – I think that'd be cool. That would have been cool if they did it that way. I understand the G League in uh, – what you call it? The G League involvement, but I don't know. I don't know if it's really needed. Oh, but, we just want to start the other way. 
What other way? Start with the draft. Oh, that's right. All right, well, this could lead up into the draft. How about that? Since we just said we read the draft. I know, I know, I know. We said everything. We didn't follow the outline. Layla, that was tough. Anyways, man. Um. All right. So you got three point contest, or is there an actual three point? Con- There's no actual three point contest, is there? Yes, there's. Who's in it? Yeah, like Donovan Mitchell, um, Damian Lillard, because Damian Lillard won it last year, so he came back to do his thing. Is Damian? Oh, I see uh, it, man. I see it. It wasn't on the. I had to press me. Jalen oh. Brunson. Easily, Lori Markman, Donovan Mitchell, Carl Anthony Towns, and Trey Young. All right, we can talk about that later because we can talk about the skills challenge first. Just go in mm-hmm. order. What's going on? So, skills challenge. We got team Pacers against team top picks against team all stars. Um, give me team top picks. Hey. Yeah, team top picks because uh, Paula Baker, be Anthony be- and Victor Wimayama. Last three top ten. Uh, not top ten. Last three. No more overall picks in the last three drafts. They should just make this a three on three tournament. No, no, that's just three drafts. Oh, that ain't right. It's 2024. Yeah, it was just class of 2020. Yeah. And 2020. That was 2022. Victor was 2023. 2021. So, was, damn. Elbow hurt her shit. 2021 was Kate, right? Yeah. Kate. Okay. I said, like, no, I ain't tripping. Um, then Team Pacers is consisted of Tyrese Halliburton, aka Expect the Gadget, um, Benedict Matherin, Expect the Gadget, Miles Turner. A bit of a flop. No, so, not, not, nothing, nothing, nothing. I was talking about the Caitlin shit. Um, yes, it's our squad. And then you got Team All Stars, which you got the Young Guns. You got Scotty Barnes, Tyrese Maxey, and Trey Young. Scotty Barnes and Tyrese Maxey are not allowed to be on the same team after the shit they did a couple years ago. Right. Just, just no. They're NBA players. They got to redeem themselves. All sure. They got to redeem themselves. They got to redeem themselves. So. It's because Tyrese Maxey didn't let him hug the first What? Time. I'm going with team topics. I don't know. All right. Now you got the three-point contest. Uh-oh, Lloyd Marketing. All right, you got... Oh, shit. You got Malik Beasley. Galen Brunson, Tyrese Halliburton, Dame Lillard, Lauren Marketing, Donovan Mitchell, Carthony Towns, and Trey Young. Um, I'm going Jalen Brunson. Yeah, I'm going Jalen Brunson. Uh, big ass shooter. Look like Lauren Marketing. <laughs> I said, I saw Lauren Marketing. I said, oh, Lauren Marketing. I had that played in my mind. <laughs> Um, I don't know. This one, this one is weird. Like, sorry, big ass shotgun look like Larry Martin. Yeah. Um, because a lot of these dudes are good shooters, but like in a three point contest setting, yeah, like it's hard to see Trey. Like, this too. It's hard to see Trey, Tyrese, maybe just them. Donovan too, because Donovan is a, is a jumper on his shot. Uh, yeah. You know what? Halliburton's shot just looks weird. I'm gonna go with the upset. Uh, what you going with? You going with Laurie? Big ass shotgun. Look like Laurie marketing. I'm going with Laurie, man. He in Indiana. Never mind. Let me chill. He in Indiana. You know who from Indiana? From French Lick. Larry Bird, man. No, I was, I was waiting for you to say. I knew who was oh, from. I, I knew who was from Indiana. Of course, I knew who was from Indiana. Like as soon as you said, it, I knew who you was. You was referring to, Miss. I was about to say. I was about to say, Mister. Who gonna come second? Lord, Lord Marketing should come into his warmups and cook the cook the competition. You saying that because of a certain factor? Here? I don't know something. Okay. Yeah, you saying Jalen Brunson, I'm saying Lloyd Mar- uh, I'm saying Jalen Brunson, you saying Lloyd Marketing. You can try to steal my pick. All right, and then you got a dunk contest. Jalen Brown, we got an all-star back in the dunk contest. 
Uh, Matt McClellan, the the defending champion. You got Jaime Hockey. Yeah. You just skipped Steph and Sabrina. Well, I thought that was the main event. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I thought we was going to order, my fault. My I played it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Damn, it made me look stupid. <laughs> I could I could have looked stupid in that moment. Like somebody had to. I'm sorry, bro. I had to say myself for that one. Hold on, Jalen Brown in the dunk contest? Yeah, same thing. I said I was like, okay, babe. Hell no, nah, that shit ugly. Bro, Jalen Brown can get up there, bro. Just because he can get up there don't mean he's gonna be creative. Bro, that we... man, I'm tired of left hand jokes for Jalen Brown's sake, bro. Like <laughs> What that got to do? I never said nothing about his left hand. I know you did it, but that's what it's kind of you. That's why I was gearing up for you to say something about. Or, or, Mike or, McClung and Jake Toppin is in this shit. What that shit ain't got nothing to do with the handle. Clearly, they in the G League. Well, Matt McClung can jump out the gym. Okay. Uh, Jacob's last name. Jake, Jacob's last name is so creative. Jacob's last name is Toppin. The younger brother of Obi Toppin. So He's Jacob can Jacob can jump. Yeah, who could also jump out the gym. Jacob so was guess- catching bodies at Kentucky. But Jalen? Jalen Jalen got – I'm not saying Jalen don't got no bounce, but he don't seem like a creative type of dunk. I mean, who knows, man? He might be learning something from T-Mac. Bro, he like 30. No, nah, I'm just kidding. He, but he did wait a little bit. Ain't just – this is not weird. I'm about to say, he probably if he would have did his first all-star appearance, then yeah. I more expect I expect him at this point in his career, I expect him to more to be in a three point contest than a dunk contest. I would have loved to see Anthony Edwards in the dunk contest. He's never getting in, bro. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. Him, if he didn't get in his first two years, he was never he's never gonna do it. Yeah, him and John no, Moran, I'm, I'm writing them off. They're not doing it. They weak as hell for that. I ain't gonna lie. John Moran, man, for, the for, way for, they for, scoring, the way they scoring. John us of greatness, bro. Talk about somebody talk as much Where as they, they, they scored a dunk contest. I ain't never doing that. Yeah, get out of here, bro. Anybody worried about that? Who fought of that? That's an excuse, bro. Who fought of that? Hey, you first of all, put your fucking finger down. Who fought is that? Not D Wade fault. That man right there behind you. That 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 jersey right there behind you. No, it's That's not. who fought it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a nine no, it's out of ten. No, it's not. Nine out they told, they all convened and was like, all right, we're gonna do this. Somebody ain't follow up. It wasn't D Wade. He had a nine up. He he was supposed to put a nine up. He was not supposed to not turn. Whoever was supposed to put a ten up didn't put up a ten. That's supposed to be tens across the board. No, it was not. That was not the plan. That was looking up for Derrick Jones Jr., bro. That was not the plan, bro. The plan was for them to tie again. You think Eric Gordon should have lost to Derrick Jones Jr. that year? Be real. He buys the side. You think he should have lost to the Derrick Jones Jr.? The plan was for them to tie again. No, no, no. Do you think that he was supposed to lose to Derrick Jones Jr.? Am I a judge? You watching it from the trip like I am. We watching the same dunk contest. Am I a judge? What would you have given that dunk? I don't remember the dunks. Okay, but it was a 10-worthy dunk. I'm sorry. That was a 10. I didn't say it wasn't. I bet they tried too hard to make it seem like it was like a... They was trying oh, to make them tie again. The no, man, if anything, if you want to make it go to a dunk, I'll give both of them 50s. That's what they, they were trying to tie with what Derrick Jones Jr. got before, and it didn't work. I think Derrick Jones Jr. got like a 48 or a 49, so they tried to make sure that Aaron Gordon got a 48 or 49. Somebody fucked it up. Somebody can't do math. Now somebody might be D-Wade. It's definitely not D-Wade. Watch your mouth. I'm just not saying, D-Wade. bro. He's the, he is the one. Like he is the one that no, was not. that got the blame for it, bro. It was because he was a Heat player, but that's five people up there. How he the one that get the blame is five of them that all convened. Let's look at this, bro. Let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this. Everybody five. pointing at D Wade. Everybody pointing at D Wade. D. No, they didn't. Wade, don't contest. They did not even point at him, bro. Niggas lying now. <laughs> <laughs> they literally said we convened to try to get it all to get the same number as he got before so they could do a dunk off again. Bro, that man gave out a six last year, dog. It was a six dunk. <laughs> man, y'all, nah, hell Dwayne no. Wade, listen, no, hold on, bro. Dwayne Wade got too much on him for him to be clean in this in this instance. 
It's a video out that says Dwayne Wade advice to dunk contest judges. Stop giving out tens. And who who didn't give out a ten when when dog on who else didn't give out a ten? Got a 10? Who else didn't give out a ten? I'm trying to find that video right now. Was he the only one that didn't give a ten? I'm trying to find a video to read. So I can so we can be correct here, but we all know that D Wade gave out the the, the the famous nine. And the beef was with D Wade. If he gave out a nine, what Maybe that with, with, with Clyde Drake that was nine, on the was panel. Right? No Dr. J that was on the panel, I don't think. If he's the only else was the judge. Nine, if he's the only one that gave out a nine, what's that equal, Bryce? 49, right? I'm about to look back now and see what's going on with it. Man came in here with, with accusations, but no evidence for his accusations. Bro, it happened like three years ago, bro. Accusations. You on blindly defending your goat? I'm blindly, or I'm I'm think I'm thinking back into what actually happened. Somebody over here just throwing out words, and they don't even know for sure if they if they right or not. Talk about everybody pointing at D Wade, man. No, they tried to pin it on D Wade. The commentators did, not the judges. The judges were like, yeah, we all tried to get them to be, get the same okay, number. Okay, so the panel, you got all right. You got. Recipes, Child Bozeman, D Wade, Carmen, Candace, and Scotty Pippen. This was Chicago. Chicago, yes. All right. So they get their Jones Jr. 50. Uh huh. Let's see. All right, hold on. I'm looking at. All right, let's see. All right, bro. Did a windmill from the from the what you call it from the foul line. Uh huh. You're doing a windmill from the foul line. Is they showing a replay? He's a giant step in too. Yeah. Boy, don't do that. Because Michael Jordan was a whole step in, and all he did was this. Michael Jordan was not a whole step in. He was a step in, but not as far as a step as Derrick Jones Jr. was. He also didn't do a fucking windmill from there. Okay. Nobody was doing windmills from oh, the he did the this. Nobody yeah, was doing windmills from the far line. Nobody was doing windmills from the far line back then, bro. Look at this every year, man. Duncan has evolved, has evolved since the 80s, Tariq. They, they did that shit every year after Michael Jordan did it. Who won the contest doing the East Bay? Nigga, they did that shit every year after Michael Jordan did it. Okay. Who, who did it first? And who and who did it every year? Just as easy. Was it was it Doctor J that did it first? I was about to say Doctor. Oh, I was saying it was either Doctor J or Larry Nance that did it first. Come on now, that shit wasn't new, nigga. But like Jordan, bro, come on. Because Jordan was like this, it was like, oh my god, does he clutch it? So he clutched it. He, he got to do something, bro. Listen. He do this. And then it's it's listen. It is debated that he got robbed. That that Dominique Wilkins got robbed because they were in Chicago. It's debatable. Like, it's debatable. You know, you know what dunks that Dominique did over and over again? That man. We got shit, man. man. Like I said, Duncan has evolved since the 80s, Tariq. We, we saw the Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon dunk contest. We saw Brave Griffin jump over a damn car. We saw. A hood of a car. That's not the same. He jumped over a car. A hood of a car. He jumped over the car. It's uh, part of the car. Over... It's part of the car. Hood of a car. Can you jump over a car? Can you jump over the hood of a car? Did I say I could, or did I say he did? We're talking like, he, oh, that ain't nothing. He just jumped over. Then I guess we can't fucking talk NBA basketball, then, nigga. We can't talk college basketball. I can shoot a three. I can make a layup. I can make a crossover. I can do a left hand layup. I can talk basketball because I know how to play basketball. So then just skip the dunk contest talk, then. We can't even talk about it. How are we talking about a dunk contest? Because we are consumers. No, we can't talk about it because neither of us can dunk. We're consumers of the game. So, so when I try to say shit, you can't dunk. You no, you it. To, bro, you trying to discredit what happened. I was like, bro, Duncan has evolved since the 80s. And he's like, bro, they doing white shit to stand up, whatever. That's so, what, 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 Jordan, what? Jordan, Jordan doing this. Jordan doing this from the foul line in, in the celebration. Bro, because this Jordan, bro, like, come on. He's a goat, man. So, but when Bob, when we talk about Bob Cousy dribble with one hand, it's okay. When we talk about the weak ass dunk they was doing, it's not. We talk about Jalen Brown in the Make same way on. dribble with one hand. Make up your mind. You talk about Jalen Brown in the same way, dribbling one hand. All right, and that's okay. 
Why we can't talk about Michael Jordan? Why we can't talk about Dominique Wilkins doing this shit every fucking year? How do we get to that point? You mad because I called out D Wade for giving out nines, and then you we asked me, no, 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 you asked me if I thought that that was a fifty, and then you tried to play him talking about he was a big step in, and I said, I, I wasn't trying to play. Him. I was rewatching. I was like, hold on, that's a big step in, yeah. Okay, but he but fucking windmill that for me. Yeah, was it better than it, Zach Levine's windmill? Was it better than Zach Levine's windmill from the foul line? Hell no. Because that, not? huh? Why not? It's not. It's the same dunk, nigga. No, it's not. Zach Levine's foot was on the line. He <laughs> jumped. Zach Levine jumped from the line. Nigga, a step back. Zach Levine jumped from the line. It was a step back. Zach Levine does a far. Zach Levine does a far more impressive than Derrick Jones Jr. dunk. So, Der- so Derrick Jones Jr. step. What, foot what back. In an argument at this point. If Derrick Jones Jr. is a what foot is back, an argument at this point, dog. If Derrick Jones Jr. is a foot back, that's not a good as dunk. Just exactly. No, no, no. Derrick Jones Jr. still has a still had a fifty worthy dunk. I'm trying to see what they about to score it, man. You're not even letting me get to the damn video, bro. Damn. Nobody told you to pause it. Let's see what they give. What they give. What they give. Them. Okay, they gave Derrick Jones Jr. forty eight. I told you. They gave him 48. Candace and Chadwick Bozeman gave him nines. So they gave him 48. So then they convened after the Aaron Gordon dunk and said, we Hold on. Hold 48. Well, I'm about to look at the Aaron Gordon dunk. Oh, and he jumped over Taco. That's weak, bro. That's weak. Taco 7 4. So? That's, that's hard to I'm do. Supposed- Dunking over somebody is not impressive, bro. It is impressive, depending on how you do it. Hey, Robinson, jump over Shaq. Depending, depending on how you dunk over somebody. Nigga, how tall is Aaron Gordon? Aaron Gordon's probably like 6'10". That shit's not impressive. Yes, it is. How? He jumped over somebody at 7'4". No. He dunked over somebody at 7'4". Like, that's an impressive dunk. That should be at least... That should have been a 48. That's what they try to get him. Let's see what they do. Let, let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let me see this shit. Because the way you talking. Because he could have cleared him. Taco himself was the one that dunked. See, he, he didn't think he was going to do it either. Let me see this shit. So D Wade, Chadwick, and Scotty Pippen all gave nines. You said who? D Wade, Chadwick Bozeman, and Scotty Pippen all gave nines. So so it's only D Wade fault, right? It's D Wade fault because look, he guilty as hell. You can see he guilty as hell because oh. Oh, let me explain. In the video, he's guilty as hell because he's getting up and he's trying to leave the damn, he's trying to leave the table because he know he messed up. So, because he know they messed up. Nigga, 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 nigga. You doing all this for it for your goat, man? That's crazy. I, I have one. I get it though. I don't be flip flopping. It's one. It's one dude all the time. Been there. I'm forever gonna be there. Nah, you be flip flopping. You be flip flopping. Nah, nah, you be flip flopping. You was you your your favorite player Kobe, but you was a Celtics fan growing up. Come on, that don't even make sense. Stop, that don't even make sense. Three straight years, who was you rooting for in the finals, Kobe or the Celtics? The Celtics. So that's not your favorite 2010, player. In twenty ten, in twenty no, not twenty ten, two thousand nine, Kobe. No, 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 no. In two thousand eight, two thousand ten, who was you rooting for? The Celtics. The Celtics. So that's not your favorite player. I've never rooted against D Wade ever in my life. That's not my favorite okay. player because he didn't play my favorite team. If your favorite player is playing, your favorite player ever, is that not more important than your favorite team? I'll say this. I came to the conclusion that Kobe was my favorite player later on. 
Like I said. But I never, uh, yeah, no, I never followed somebody from the beginning to the end. I did. That's why I'm doing it. You already right. know when it comes to them. When yes. it comes to these people, you already know what it is. But, but, Paul Spade a Spade here. The boy was in the wrong. He the one who got the blame. It's three people that put nine. Three. One is passed away. Rest in peace. So we not blaming him. It's between D Wade and Common. You just gonna say it wasn't out. Common. It was between you. It wasn't Common. It was D Wade and it was it was um Scotty Pippen. It was D Wade and Scotty Pippen that gave nines along with Chadwick Boseman. I'm blaming on Scotty Pippen. Shit, he been saying recently. He probably did that shit on purpose. Everybody made it a Miami connection with D Wade. No, that's who, who? Now you can switch with it. I'm saying Who's everybody. That? I'm saying everybody made that connection. Everybody made that connection. Who's everybody? everybody made that connection. Who's everybody? Everybody. Who's NBA Twitter. Everybody? NBA Twitter. Everybody? NBA Twitter. And hey, now we listen to NBA Twitter. From time to time, yeah. Oh hell no! Nah, it's some respectable crazy. people in NBA Twitter. That I a couple to months it. ago, you just told me NBA Twitter don't know ball. Now all of a sudden, they know ball. For the most part, NBA Twitter don't know what they're talking about. But it's certain people that we can all agree. It's certain things that happen that we can all agree and all talk about. That's why we're still talking NBA Twitter. Anyways, man, who do you think won the damn gun dunk contest, bro? Because this pissed me off. Who do you think won the dunk contest, bro? <laughs> I got Jalen Brown. I got Jalen Brown's winning the dunk contest. Jalen, I got Jalen Brown. Brown. Yes, I got Jalen Brown. Bro, he give me Jalen Brown in the dunk contest, bro. He about to go there and do some weak ass shit, bro. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> he getting out in the first round. I'm sorry. <laughs> give me Jalen Brown, bro. Give me Jalen Brown. If Jalen Brown win, that means more stars are gonna go come in the dunk contest, or more rising stars are gonna be in the dunk contest. Never mind. Give me Jalen give Brown. Because me- Jalen Brown win, more stars gonna come. Stop it. If anything, they should have came because of what Matt McClung did last year. Oh, what? It, oh, we can't, we can't let a G League get, get the NBA. Uh, uh, oh, no, like, he went crazy. Let me see what I can do against that. You think they don't care because Jalen Brown won it? Jalen Brown is just Jalen Brown. Okay. It's, diff- it's different if, like... I respect to Matt McClung. Matt McClung is a hell of a dunker, hell of a player. He might be the best dunker in the league right now. He ain't even in the league. Put some respect on LeBron and Anthony Edwards and, and John Morant. LeBron? LeBron's still one of the best dunks in the league, bro. Don't, don't get it twisted, bro. In game, sure. I'm that's what I'm saying. Dunk that's, dunk. What I'm, that's what I'm, I'm saying. A dunk, just a dunk contest. We're talking about a dunk contest. We you said one of the best dunkers in the league. Uh, yes. For what does that contest. mean, Tariq? What does that for mean? Dunk contest. All right, bro. Nigga, I can say Whippy if we're talking about dunkers because we can dunk on anybody at any given moment. I can say Zion, but his ass is not getting in a dunk contest. Matt McClung, the only one that can dunk the way he do, and that's getting in a dunk contest. Everybody else, scared. Let's talk about it. They scared. They not worried about who's going to be the judge. They worry about losing and what it's going to make them look like. That's the only reason they not in. Because they're going to lose to a G-leaguer. Because they're going to lose, period. They gonna have, and somebody got to lose. Somebody that's help. why Braun ain't do it. Braun ain't going to do it where he, he going to go out and he going to lose. Or Braun, Braun would have won. We've never seen him do anything creative. How how can you just flat out say that he was going to win? LeBron would have won. How do you know that? You got and then you got to think about the year that he was saying he was going to go in. Who was he going against? Well, that would have been what probably that might have been a Nate Robinson year or a Gerald Green year or I'm trying to think who won the dunk contest in those times. He would have gone against like Dwight, Gerald Green, oh, they, they, the, the Dwight. Gerald Green still probably got the craziest dunk ever with the um. Blow out the candle. Oh. That's just crazy. You probably got the craziest dunk ever. Nate, like, do you no nah, be, be for real? Do you actually think LeBron would have pulled out some creative dunks? Or you think he would have just done like with some LeBron type shit? And he would have gassed it up because it's LeBron. He probably would have started off with like the signature LeBron windmill or something. That's why. So, that's 45. Yeah, that's the, the, the point. Hey, it's about space up. That's why. That's why. That's why. 40, 45. Okay, so so get to the next round. Now he got no it's not. Well, 45 is enough to get you to the next round. Anywhere between 45 to 40 the, the 50, you can get to the next round. Out of two dudes get first 45. Down, listen, first down LeBron, who who bang, or he like do some like 
say he tried to like channel Jordan or something. Like I don't know. I don't know what a LeBron dunk contest looks like. Only LeBron would know what he would do for his first dunk. But I know it'd be something crazy. And it'd be something to get everybody off the floor, up uh, up out their seats, whatever. That's why I think LeBron really gonna do this in his last season. Oh, you, you bugging. Are you gonna do it? He gonna do it in his last season or he gonna do it where Bronny's in the league? When Bronny make it to the league, Bronny gonna be the one throwing him the oops. He can do this shit now. Why he gotta wait till he's in the league? That's a fact, but it mean it'll mean more when Bronny's in the league because they'll probably be teammates. Now you bugging. <laughs> Why was LeBron at 40 years old? Get the dunk contest. Why not? He'd be yeah, the older person. He was 25. He'd be the older person huh? in the dunk contest. Oh my God. If Bron do that shit, that's hella funny. Because they're going to make they gonna, Is they gonna make him. Do the dunk contest in his last season? Because they're going to make him win. Now, like, if Michael Jordan did that shit when he was with the Wizards, that shit would be corny, right? You said of what? If Michael Jordan did that shit when he was with the Wizards, that shit would be corny, right? I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that would be a head scratch. Be like, yo, what, 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 what are we doing, Mike? Literally. That's what Mike. That's what Brian gonna be on. He should. He should have did it with. He, listen, he should have did it when when Magic Johnson put a mill put, put a mill up for him to do it. He's like, bro, I gotta make all do it. That's when he should have done it. What? When he said, "I'm entering next year's dunk contest." That's when he should have done it. Well, next year, I'm in my name in a dunk contest. This is when we should have. I think that was like the year Josh, 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 I'm not Josh Smith. Josh Smith probably won it or something. I don't know. That's that's when we should have known that Braun be won. I just realized something. Was Rashawn McCants the one that gave Gerald Green the uh the damn cupcake? Yeah. <laughs> he was. Or like, yeah, 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 yeah. Rashawn McCants, bro. That's hilarious. Not bad. I realized um, that boy. Cause they was like, bro, did he blow it out or did it like the dunk, the wind from him dunking blow it out? No, he blew it out. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, that's crazy. Cause whose birthday was it? I don't think it was his birthday that he was doing it for. I think he was just doing it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know Chuck Charles Barkley's birthday is always around All Star Weekend, so it might have been. I don't know. Man, Matt McClung went to dunk contest. That's all. Yeah, Matt McClung. I got Jalen Brown, bro. If not Jaime, if not Mac, then Jaime. Of course you would you would say Jaime. Nigga, if Noah Clowney was in here, you'd be like, Noah Clowney win it. I would not say Noah Clowney win it. I would pull for Noah Clowney, but I'm not saying Noah Clowney would win it. Yeah. And that's serious. I'm done. I'm done with that team from Atlantic this season. Is it is it any Nets All Star Weekend at all? No. Them boys ask for real. They don't got nobody. We don't gotta there. talk about the Nets. Why are we talking about the Nets? We don't need to talk about the Nets on the show. Now we don't talk about the Nets. No reason to talk about the Nets on the show. Yeah, no reason to talk about the Nets on the show. Oh, now we not talk about the Nets. Yeah, no reason to talk about the Nets on the show. What's that behind you? That's a Nets jersey, right? Yes, yes, it is. We can talk about the Nets then. Oh, now we can talk about the Nets because they ask. Well, I just want to know what they're doing this weekend. They chilling, bro. Like, okay. Yeah, Thomas probably gonna be in the crib chilling because he don't go out do do nothing. Kel Bridge probably gonna be messing around with Asia Wilson. Um, oh, watch it. She said that that was gay. All right. Yeah. That's that's what that's her word. She said that that was gay. I mean, they're gonna be in the same place at the same time. I mean, what he gonna be there for? He not he not an all star. Okay. NBA players pull up to All Star Weekend all the time. It's a it's an actual all star that shit. Oh, that's and Sabrina's in a in a three point contest with stuff too. So you know you gotta show up and support game. Yeah, so he got support Sabrina. Can you believe people thought that Mikel was going to be an all-star this year? And when I say people, I'm looking at one of them. Hey man, the, I, I, listen, I don't know what it was, but doggone, um, I don't know, just our, my fandom probably just had me have oh, high, my eyes high hopes. I just had high hopes going into the season. And Things look right and things were looking good, but then things got bad real fast. I think Cam Cam Thomas would have had a case for All Star had they been better and had he not gotten hurt when he did, because he was on pace for it, bro. He'd had a case for oh. Trey Young. Yeah. Cam Thomas would have gotten in over Trey Young. Maybe not Except- over Trey Young, but I mean, like I said, he would have had a case. He would have had a legit All Star case. 
Let me coach the Brooklyn Nets, bro. Y'all gonna lose every game. Oh, I'll be doing a better job than what they're doing over there now. Bro, they resting they resting their starters or they they give, they give their starters a minutes restriction. The game before all star break against a contender. Like, bro, y'all are not going y'all not y'all not, probably not gonna make the playoffs this year. What are we resting for? Get better. Who are you guarding? Who am I guarding? Yeah. What do you mean who am I guarding? The lineup that you go put out there is not guarding nobody. Well, the lineup, listen, if I let it's me be in charge of the Brooklyn Nets for a week. And I can't do nothing now because trade deadline is over, so I ain't no more trades. But that team look a lot different. They will look like now. You be listening to boys a lot of money. Anyways, man. Uh, to the main event, main main thing. Got the All-Star game. They're no longer doing the um, championship. The, the pick format no more. We're doing East and West now. So. I uh, saw a cool little video, Bleach Report. You know how they do little cartoons or whatever. And uh, they did, like, the um, the Hero Ball. Wait, we, just, we just fully skipping stuff in Sabrina? Oh, my gosh. I thought we mentioned it. <laughs> when you said main event, I was like, all right. And then you said they go back to East and West. So I'm like, East and West what? <laughs> yeah, but see, when I was I was talking about it, I thought. You just said, fuck hey, stuff in Sabrina. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, oh. I paw like I play ball for real. <laughs> I paw just like I ball, but doggone. Um, Steph for Sabrina, you got three point champion Sabrina Unescu going up against former three point champion Steph Curry. Wait, did he win last year? No, he didn't win last year, did he? Who won? Who? He did. Okay, so. But yeah, Steph Curry up against Sabrina Unescu, two of the best shooters in the world. Um, Sabrina shooting from the full point line, three point line, whatever you want to call it, shooting from from way out there. Uh, she got how many last year? It was like what? How many shots did she make last year? Or what was the score last year? It was like thirty seven. Yeah, so like she only missed two shots. So it was thirty seven out of a possible what forty? I think so. Yeah. Like she missed a possible 40 that she got. She missed like a funny ball and a regular ball. Yeah. So that's the highest ever in NBA or WNBA three point contest history. Highest single round record. She did it in the final round of WNBA All Star last. Uh, <laughs> last and yeah, that, hey, set, set TL five that day. Show sure did. I'm mad. I don't even think I was. At home for that. I think I was working. I was at work too. I'm tired. I'm tired of work, bro. I'm tired. Where was I? I'm tired of work, bro. I'm where tired. What? I don't know where I was. They be doing. They, they had an all star festivity like midday. Like, bro, what what we doing? What was I? They had an all star festivities like midday, like on a work day. Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. That's why I'm thinking. I'm like, what was I on a Saturday night? Like, oh, they did it during the day. That's why I was day. at work. Hey, everybody's at work. Nobody was just off at three o'clock on a Friday. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And she went stupid. And y'all had that shit during the day where everybody at work. I remember I watched that on my I remember I watched it on my break, the recap video. I was like, oh, she went crazy. I watched shit. it on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> and then the kids on summer camp, yep. So what? But yeah, no. Um I don't know. I feel like it'll be fun. Um who you got, man? Dang, I can't preview this shit. Who you um, got? Some tell me to go Sabrina. Some tell me to go with stuff. Who you got, bro? You know what? I'm going I'm to go Team W on this one. I'm going to go with Sabrina. I knew you was going to do that. I what? knew you was going to do that. Diplomat. I knew you was going to do that. 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 Nah, I feel like because I a lot of people that have been asked the question, like you got KD that said Sabrina, you got Kyrie that said Sabrina, KD Swiss, a couple others that have said Sabrina. Um, Steph is taking that personal and is probably gonna lock in. Man, he worried about that shit. Man. But it's for charity, and somebody was like, 
um, oh, if it if 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 it's for charity, then Steph is gonna lose, because they all pulled up when they had they were, they were doing the half court shots for all, um, shot. and, and Steph was missing all of them. Well, he was ice cold that night, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that that shit was sad. I was like, damn, they and they gave him like three extra shots too. He can't. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, if it's charity money on the line, and then, then he's. I feel it. like, did he do the three point contest that year, or was he in like regular clothes? I think he would probably have, might have been in regular clothes. Yeah, I'm like, y'all pull him off the bench. Like, he was just going to knock them shit, like, knock down a half court shot. Like, y'all should at least let him get some shots up first. Right. Like, they was like, nah, street clothes, knock that shit down for charity. <laughs> <laughs> so, you go with Sabrina. Yeah. Confidently, or you just, you know, uh, you just. I don't know. I just that that that's the outcome that I'm going for. That I'm rooting for. See, okay, okay, okay. I can't right. say. I can't confidently say either. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I think Sabrina's shooting from the NBA line. Yeah, she said she'll shoot from the NBA line, but she's shooting with them NBA balls, obviously. So, but like. She was shooting from NBA range anyway, so that really don't you know, that really don't mean nothing. Nathan, and I'm sure I'm sure she's been practicing. I feel like she's probably been practicing a little bit more than he has. Yeah, but honestly, he could be practicing. Yeah, That's it's smart. crazy. So I'm kids giving him the the cupcake. That's crazy. Um, let's differ on this. We can't. We can't. We can't pick the same player. So I'm gonna go Steph. Okay. I hope I hope Sabrina wins, but I'm gonna go Steph. I'm gonna say Steph wins. Because it would it would be it would be dope to see Sabrina win this year. No, big facts, big facts. Because then we can then we gotta bring more shooters in. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, man. Like I, I need Quigley, I need Kayla McBride, I need Lexi Brown, yep. I need Carly Sanderson, Katie Lou Sanderson. I need the shooters. I need them all. Alicia. I need them. Alicia Clark, KP, all the shooters. Just yeah, run, run it, run it, run it, run it. Yeah. It'll be just NBA versus W. Let's do it. Honestly, bro. Honestly, like yo, I can run it back at, at WBA All Star. Mm. Nah. Oh, no. Then again, I don't think W Twitter will like that. <laughs> That's why I said, mm, nah. Because <laughs> they go like, nah, bro, nah. That's fair, that's fair. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm go with I'm gonna go with uh Steph now. Word. All right, now for the main event. Main event, we have. East versus the West in the yeah. classic, the All Star game. Here. Yeah. Uh, but we gonna switch things up a little bit, you know? Team Hoodie versus Team Headband. Y'all never gonna win. No. Why lie? Why lie? Why lie? Because I'm, no. I'm, I'm coming to win, bro. I'm not, no. She is. She. You know how that shit go when you come to win against me. Number L's. Big L's. What the? <sighs> Alright, so we going to starters first? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Starters first. Starter, first. starter pool. Alright, uh... All right. Oh. I forgot Dame is a starter. I flip a coin. I already know what you're going to go, so I'm not even about to ask you. Flip a coin. Oh, it's heads. That's fine. All right, Julio, Julio. So I have the first pick. You're going to sell it anyway, so I'm not even worried. No. Let's see. All right, we playing a win here, right? Oh, I already know what you're doing. So we're playing to win here. Um, I have no game plan for how I'm gonna do this. This is on the fly. But um, all right. First pick of the hoodie and headband 2024 All Star Draft. Team headband selects the guy with the skinny headband, Luka Doncic. You didn't say his name right. You should be able to take him. Luka Doncic. Where are you from? Slovenia. 
That's why you were supposed to go to other. I should take the player that I know you want. What? Be... I should take shape, but I ain't gonna do it. Don't do it. Look at your face. You know you wanted to take shape. You try to be petty. Nah, cause see, I, I just want somebody. No, no, no. I want to see somebody acting like. I want to get you off guard with who was going to pick because I didn't want to pick the typical pick because it was either going to be him or somebody else. I'm not going to say who else, but you were going to pick KD. No, I was going to pick KD. You going to pick Bron? I wasn't going to pick Bron either. All oh, right, make your pick. Okay. Make your pick, and I'll tell oh, you. I'll, I'll oh. tell you if you make this pick. I'll right, tell man. you. All right, no, 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 no. You want to throw people off? You want to throw people off? Yeah. Be Tyrese Halliburton. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like he it. He passing everybody. He passing everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an all star game. He gonna he gonna try oh, harder. Luca can't, like can't dish the rock. He don't try hard at all star games. You know that. Better like Luca can't dish the rock. He um, don't try hard. If you know that. All right, give me give me SGA. We ain't worried about that. Yes, yeah. Right. Give me. Give me Giannis. Okay, you taking Giannis? Cool. It's an all-star game. He going to try hard regardless. To be honest. Tyrese and Giannis. Oh, wait. I might not have thought that through. Tyrese and Giannis don't like each other. Right. They're going to be. They're going to be. Now nah, we go. We go. A couple of lobs. It's going to be like uh, Russ and KD. He going to throw him a lob. Everything going to be kumbaya. Yeah. It's the all of it's all weekend. They going to be cool. They going to be cool. Um. So, I got Luke and Shea. You got Tyrese and Giannis. Um, they didn't, they didn't say who was starting for for and B, did did they? I don't think they did. Um, I guess they could choose. I guess they could choose. All right. Um, I have a weird lineup. It would be even weirder if I picked this next person. Um, I'm picking. All right, you know what? No, I'm, I'm, give me give me Kevin Durant, bro. <laughs> Stop complicating this. Give me Kevin Durant. Give me Jokic. What? I know. Give me Jokic. That was my. That was gonna be. That was gonna be a pick. I was gonna make. You bug it. You. That was gonna be a pick. I was gonna make instead of Luca. You. You. It was between. It. it was between them two. Yeah, I know you trying to be petty, and your team's still not gonna be better than mine. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so you said Jokic. All right. Um. You got um B already. All right, uh, give me Tatum. I was about to say, if you don't say Tatum, wrap it up, cause it's it's a wrap. Yeah. Uh, give me Bron. What? Bron, Giannis, Halliburton, and Jokic. We passing the ball everywhere, boy. He ducking all over your heads. Mine's a lot. Um. All right, who's left over? You got Dame. You got. It's just Dame because we don't know who the the All Star replacement is, or the starter replacement is. I guess you could pick somebody off the reserve if you want to pick Dame, but right. That's in the East, though, right? Yeah. Like who I think would be the the starter. Right. Or Dame. Um. I'll pick Bam. I think Bam is the, the pick that would. You funny. Give me Dane. Okay. Tyrese, Dane, Giannis, Braun, Jokic. All right, cool. One, two, three, four, five. I just broke it. I, broke it. I get first pick of reserves, right? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is easy. This is fucking easy. I already said we're gonna be passing that ball everywhere, and there's a certain player who well, they was trying to get the team up with this player already anyway. And then the last time, these two was on the same team. He threw the ball, smack off the ground. He went up, dunked that shit. 
Imagine Jokic in a pick and roll with the greatest shooter of all time. Give me Stephen Curry. It's over. It's a wrap. Pack it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. It's yeah. over. Mm-hmm. Right, cool. So you took Steph. Wow. Let's see. It's a wrap. You got Steph. You got Steph. You got Steph. What Vince Carter say? Give me Devin Booker, dog. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. And that played right into my favor. That you played right into my favor. Gotta get done to it. Because there's two players I can go with here. Okay. And I'm going to go with a young buck. Lord. Somebody that's going to be looking forward to a game like this. Last year, he ain't play much. He ain't play much. He was on the bench talking about niggas shooting that bitch from Yucatan. But now he's going to be in the game. And he's going to be dunking on motherfuckers. Give me, uh, Anthony. Give me Anthony Edwards. You play it right into my hands. And I'm cooking. Come on now. What are they talking about? Steph and Anthony Edwards coming off the bench? They're going to be like, oh, Steph going to shoot it. They're going to step up. He going to pass that bitch to Anthony Edwards. And he going to talk on him like Yuta. Come on now. Show pick. All right, my pick. Uh, let me get Paolo. You said who? Paolo. Give me Anthony Davis, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing over there? He over there like Doc Rivers. He over there cooking up nothing. <laughs> that boy over there with an easy bake oven. Fake food. <laughs> he said, Paolo, you could have picked him with actually. You could have picked him right before Scotty Barnes. <laughs> Go ahead and pick Jalen Brunson. I know you want to. I'm not picking Jalen Brunson at the moment. I'm picking Kawhi Leonard, though. I knew he was going to do that because that's who I was going to pick next. But I'll get the player that played. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Anthony Harris can play the three. He Donovan Mitchell, bro. All right. Uh, let's see who's left over. Let's see who's left over. We got. Okay. And then we got. Okay. In a setting like this, let me get Trey Young. I knew he was gonna say that. I knew he was gonna say that. I need someone that can compete with stuff and in, 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 in one sense, you know, in one sense. Like he can go shot for shot with stuff. In a setting like this, he can probably go shot for shot with stuff. You know who else can go shot for shot with stuff? Who can actually go shot for shot with stuff? He already has fucking team. His name is Damian Lillard. He can go shot for shot. We ain't seen Trey do that. We seen Dame do it though. I saw Dame shoot that bitch from half last year, from behind half court last year. I see Trey do it though. Shit, give me, huh? Give me. Already got three guards. Give me PG. Hmm, like it. PG thirteen. He's really good at all star games too. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh so you just pick PG. All right, let me this I guess this is where I pick. Uh, let me look. Let me look for the phone decision. Yeah, I guess this is where I pick Jalen Bronson. That's fine. We good. Because I, f- I forgot that we got Anthony Davis, so we got a center, so I ain't even worried no more. Actually, fuck, give me another shooter. The boy named Ryan with a Mac. Give me Cat. Come on now. What you talking about? Give me Cat. Nothing but shooters on the spot. Nothing but shooters. We coming down and we. Bro, Kevin Clark with it. What you talking about? We letting that bitch fly. From where? From where? Yucatan. From you, Yucatan, man. Some, you know I can't pronounce. Put some, put some flavor with that shit, Yucatan. What the hell is that? Yucatan. 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 Um, the funniest part about that is that it's a real place. She got forty nine. Who? Are they taking Caitlyn out of the game? She got forty nine. 
That's whack. Don't do that. Let it get pity. Don't do that. Don't take her out of the game. What are you doing? She she just broke the Iowa single uh single game scoring record too. Well, shit. Oh, girl had forty seven just last week. She was like, yeah, let me get that right back. <laughs> and nigga sit right next to her. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, we cool. Man, we like, man, get let it get fifty, man. What you doing? She said we cool, but we ain't that. What cool you doing, Lisa? Let yeah, it get like fifty. It. She got forty nine. Let it get fifty, Lisa. What you doing? Damn, yeah. Lisa. This ain't Big Ten protocol, Lisa. About to say they better. They better follow Big Ten. Let protocol. it get fifty. No, I'm, about, I'm really about to spaz. I'm at least let it get fifty. He trying to he trying to hold up the the draft because you know he get cooked right now. Whatever, dog. Um. So I'll pick. I'll oh, pick cat. That was your last pick. Yes, I did. All right. So cat is pick, and we have what one two. Oh, we got two more. All right, There's two more players left. Um, I oh, know it's three more players left. I'm bugging. Wait, no, no, because Julius Reynolds out. Yes, he is out. BG was out. Um, take your dunk contest with. I I don't know how I forgot about him. What the hell? He just scrolled it right past that nigga. Scrolled right past, bro. Yeah, let me get Jalen uh, Brown. We sent him left. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that's the last pick, I think. It's uneven, isn't it? Nah, it shouldn't be. Wait. Is there somebody on the west? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I talked you in the day of Jalen Brown. Give me Jalen Brunson. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. That's it, bro. <laughs> I thought I already had him. No, I already do have him. I already have him. When did you pick him? I picked him like two picks ago, right after Trey Young. No, 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 no. no yeah, no. look, it's written. It's an ink. Wait, no, that's the wrong part. It's an ink. I did not just do that just now. I picked him right after Trey Young. I feel like you just said Jalen Brunson. Bro. I said, let me go ahead and get Jalen Brunson. Okay, 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 okay. This is the pick where I get Jalen Brunson because he's like, I know you want to get Jalen Brunson. I was like, yeah, okay. but I mean, Okay. You, yeah, you, I'll, you, I'll, I wrote him down. I was like, damn, I got the Jalen's. Like, again. I'm right, Jalen. But, give me give me Tyrese Maxey there. All right, and I get Scotty Barnes. Yeah, I won that. Come on now, Halliburton, Dane, Braun, Giannis, Jokic, Luca, Shay, KD, Tatum, Book, Paolo, Kawhi, Trey, Brunson, Brown. I'm confident in my squad. No, you're not. Look at your face. I'm confident. <laughs> why? Why should you only get 49? Let it get 50. I got so weak sweater. Let me stop. Steph, Ant, PG, AD, Donovan, Tyrese Maxey. Is that it? I'm missing it. And Cat. Yeah, we cooking. Oh, wow. Clay is coming off the bench tonight. That shit does, bro. For the first time since his rookie year in 2012. I think the only reason that is. It's been tough for him to do this because they make they made it a big deal. Like, Clay Tom has been benched. Like, don't say it like that. He's coming off the bench tonight. Like, yeah, it's like one of those things that where it says benched. Right. And then it makes it seem like it's a, like a huge negative. Like, y'all gotta stop with that shit. Like when they did this shit to Melo, like, oh, they said you coming off the bench. He said, damn, they said I'm coming off the bench. Like, it's the way I think the whole Melo thing was crazy because like they kind of forced the whole bench thing on him. I'm pretty sure if they had a conversation about it, and we're just like, cool. hey. You know, you come over here, but our role for you, you know, you'd probably be a leader off the bench, like second unit type guy or whatever, you know? That's what we see you at. Instead of, like, in a press conference, hearing that from a media member, like, oh, 
probably Roby everywhere. Huh? Probably Roby everywhere. Because how's she doing an interview for Peacock right now? Is she on ESPN? That gotta that gotta break some type of contract or something. And on YouTube. And she for the jazz. Yeah. Oh. We catch a holly at the jazz games. Well, I don't know why I said it like I watch, like um, like I'm at the jazz games. (laughs) I be catching holly at the jazz games, like I go there. (laughs) Like when I watch jazz games, I play Ellen DeGeneres. Who? Uh uh, Lisa Boulder? Who? I said Boulder. Lisa Boulder is crazy. <laughs> Play Ellen DeGeneres. Lisa Boulder. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres is crazy too, though. Virginia Tech about to be Duke. Um, but yeah, no. Who do you think wins the actual All Star game, the East or the West? Um. Hmm. Let's see. They got Giannis, Halliburton, Dane, Tatum. Bam, Paolo. I'm going to go West. I feel like the West got more young guys that are actually trying to play, like Shea. I feel like the, the players that are actually trying to play in this game is, like, guys like Halliburton, uh, Shea, Ant, Book. Steph always plays in the uh, PG, Cat. I think, like, the LeBrons, the Lucas, the Jokic's, they probably won't try to. To really play, because I mean, last year they Luca and Jokic, I feel like played like maybe like ten minutes, and they was like, "Yeah, we good." Yeah, uh, you know, Braun might try to play a little bit, but he also might just be like, "Yeah, let the young guys do it." Giannis always plays a good bit. I think last year he didn't because he was hurt. I think he, didn't he get in for like the, the first thirty seconds, and then he like found somebody and came out, and then they was like, he should have just. Did the injury replace? Um, but yeah, I think like guys like Tatum, Paolo, uh, Jalen Brunson, since his first one, Donovan, Tyrese Maxey, Trey Young. I feel like this will be one of the ones where the young guys. I uh, think so too, man. I think the young guys gonna show out, like, like you mentioned, Shea and Tyree, the Tyrese's, um, Brunson, Trey. Scott. Who's the MVP? Who's MVP? Yeah. I'll say West win, and I'll say MVP goes to either Shea or Ant. Okay. I think I think All-Star game yeah. MVP is going to be if – Hall- if Halliburton is healthy enough, I think he'll get MVP. Yeah. Since it's in Indiana, he's going to try to go for it, I feel like. Or, or since it is in Indiana – Paul George might go for it. That would be funny as hell. Um, do you think he should get his jersey retired in, in Indiana? Mm. He said he didn't play long enough for it. For I don't season. think I don't think he played long enough. Yeah, he played there what six years, five years. So much. He got that. he got drafted in twenty ten. He got drafted in twenty ten. He's on by twenty seventeen. He played like six and a half years, seven years. I mean, depending on how many people they have retired, then yes, but probably not. I mean, to, anybody to, if if anybody that played for the Pacers recently is getting a jersey retired, it would be Paul George. Yeah, yeah. You get the most recent person that would get their jersey retired. Yeah. I don't think. I, I mean, he, he, didn't he play might. It. He might end up getting so retired. Like, I feel like Jersey retirement, like, I don't know, because I'll say that. I don't think about if Melgan entered Jersey retirement retired at, at um in New York. Yes. Melo was there from, what, 2012 to 2017? He's getting retired. Or, what, twenty no, 2010 to 2017. I'm tripping. Melo's getting this shit retired. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, that's seven yeah. months ago. It's got to be weird to watch yourself on a jumbo screen when you're standing right there next to her. Look, she just looked from the thing and she looked right at it because they're standing right there. That's got to feel weird. I don't know. That just looked awkward. Yeah. Like, oh, all the stuff that we want to tell you, we're not going to tell you right now because they about to tell you what we said on the jumbo tr- <laughs> I don't know. Ain't her- 
Ain't her man supposed to be there? Maybe he playing tonight. Did her man play? He plays for Iowa. I didn't know he played basketball. Con- uh, what's his name? McCaffrey, right? Hold on, let me make sure. I mean, I did see the little Valentine's Day post that she made. I said he's number thirty. If I'm not mistaken. I didn't know he who. I thought I thought I thought she he was like Cam Brinkman, don't play ball but play a different sport. Yeah, he played. He plays for. I, I saw he was tall as hell. I was like, damn. Maybe that was. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was her brother that was there. Oh, he a damn seven year seat. He hold, hold on. He what? Who? He twenty five. And he averaged four points a game. Nah. You wild. <laughs> I'm not even about to fool up with you on that one, bro. Are you playing 30 minutes a game? I'm like, okay, yeah. okay. That was last year. That was last year. That was last year. That was last year. Oh, last year. I'm about to say. I'm not even about to fool up. He bro. played from 2017 to 2023. Well, I say if he's twenty five, like he got to have been playing since then. Like I'm twenty five. Okay, he averaged he averaged six points a game last year. How much? 38 percent from the floor. What's the stats? What's the stats this year? He's not playing this year. Oh, so but he, they have. He's on here, like, like yeah. he's still. Like, hold on, let me see. Oh no, man! But um, yeah, All Star Sunday night. I need to stop doing this. Um. On All Star Saturday yeah, night, All Star weekend. weekend is Sunday. Or the All Star weekend is weekend. Why can I not talk? All Star weekend is weekend. Um, yeah, that's how. But I look when I looked him up, the the top three articles is who is Caitlyn Clark's boyfriend? Meet the other. Meet his. Meet her significant other. Who is Caitlyn Clark's boyfriend? What to know? I don't know. Who better make those articles that have nothing to do with the laws? Like they cannot be they can't, they can't be sports writers. Maybe. Can't. One of them said one of them said women's health, so Okay. But you ain't even know he who. Exactly. And you you supposed to you're a writer. A sports writer too. When have I written an article by Caitlin Clark? Should have. I know I should have. I just don't be in my writing bag, but maybe I need to get back to that. But no, uh, I don't know. I just don't think looking at people's significant others has value toward them and their game. I didn't say it did. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I want, I'm not so pressed to like find that out either. Like, oh, this is such and such, man. Oh, let me go see. Like, I'm not checking on Cameron Fletcher respectfully. I know that's Andrew Reese's man. But it's not like um keeping up with bro. I probably should because he's nice. But I don't know. Only 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 then again, that's gonna sound weird the way I'm gonna say this, but only person I really know about, like who got a man or whatever that's good or like I know about them or whatever is is um Hell, you Van Liff and damn Jalen Suggs, if they're still a thing. I, I don't think they're a thing, bro. Last, time, only- I, last time I saw, she was talking about um somebody was like, somebody asked, who's your favorite NBA player? She was like, my man. I did see that. He's only played 17 games the last two years. Only played 17 games the last two years. Moving on, man. Moving on. Move on. <laughs> move, move, moving on. Moving on. Um, All-Star Weekend, man. This weekend in Indiana. Should be fun to watch. Uh, Yeah, man. Look forward to it. Um, Looking forward to it. Name Max, what are you looking forward to this All-Star Weekend? Like, is it a certain thing? Like, is it a certain event? Is it a certain matchup? Is it just, like, the environment? Like, what is it that you're looking forward to? Also, Rico. 
uh, the young players, see how they, how they, uh, you know, because this whole season has been about like the parody and the young stars. This is the time. This is the stage where you want these young stars to to have their best outings, so that the casual fan or the players, the people that don't watch all season long and sometimes just watch the playoffs, no, they can get a they can get a, a image of who these players are and what they look like and what they're what they excel at and things like that. So like people that haven't watched the Spurs all year can see Wimby in a skills contest, see Wimby play um, in a Rising Stars Challenge. And then you can see Ant, and you can see Tyrese Halliburton in the All-Star game. You can see Shane in the All-Star game. Mm-hmm. Um, so Hall- I'm looking forward to the young guys to see how they how they perform. Yeah, uh, to your point, you know, like you said, like you don't see – well, I mean, you do see them because like, they do show the Spurs a good bit on national TV now. But I'll think about um, – Earlier this week, when they showed the Thunder versus OKC on TNT, that matchup normally isn't on TNT. That matchup is elite. That's Thunder, a- Thunder versus the Magic. I said Thunder versus OKC did not because that's why you were smiling. I thought you were smiling because you was like, "Oh yeah, Bryce, you know, watching games." Well, I was like, "No, he's smiling because he want to laugh." Because I said Thunder versus my ankle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you almost fall? No, it just. I was playing around. I can't keep still. I can't oh. keep still. And I was moving my foot around, and I twisted my ankle up again. I need to keep still, man. But I, um, like I was saying, Tuesday night, they showed the Thunder against the Magic. And, I mean, yeah, I know they showed it because, you know, Shaq's jersey retirement night and whatever. But they – you see – Full, full display. You got Shea Gilgis Alexander, which is one of the rising stars in the NBA. Um, also with um what's the name? What, what's the name? What's the name? Uh you got Jalen Williams and you got Chet Holmgren too, who are also two two of the better better young players in the league at the moment. And then on the other side, you got They about to drop her. You call it you got the Atlanta Magic. Put her down. You got the Atlanta Magic who got us all star in Paulo Bancaro, who we've all known from Duke. But you know, some others that probably didn't watch college basketball know him now or getting to know him now as a star in the NBA. Um, same with Franz Wagner. And, and, and same with Franz Wagner. And others on that team. Um, yeah. My boy Jim Sash went crazy that night, too. Yeah. He had like five or six threes. Yeah, man, but I look forward to it, bro. It's gonna be a fun weekend. It'll be fun to tune into. I can't wait. Also, elimination chamber. Five a.m. though. So. Five a.m. Yeah, they in, they in uh, Australia. I ain't waking up to see that. I will. You have fun with that. I will. I heard. I heard uh, Car Carjo isn't in it no more. Who? Jay, is it Cargo? Car Cargo? Cargo. Cargo. Okay. Heard that Jade Cargo isn't on, is in it no more. It, isn't it what? In the elimination. Isn't chamber. it what? She was never in it. Huh? She was never in it. She was never in it. Then why did I saw a tweet saying that she was no longer competing? No, they said that she's not going to be like in, on the pay per view. Oh. But I don't think she was ever supposed to be on it. I think they were just. Dang, I just reaggravated this shit, man. Shoot my language, dog. Hold on, I don't think it's this weekend. I might be wrong. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me check, let me check, let me check. Might have got, the, I might have got the weekend wrong. Chain. I put an elimination changer. But uh, I don't know if you had anything else. No, I got nothing else, man. Um, we got another preview coming out this week, this weekend, uh, with Notre Dame. Not Notre Dame, no, that was today. Um, with USC and Oregon State. 
Um, I lie. It's not this weekend. It's next. Okay. Week. But yeah, no. I don't know. All Star Weekend. It's gonna be lit. Glad I could sit down and watch it and chill and yeah, it'd be a good weekend, bro. I'll be tuning in, tweeting, doing whatever it is. Yeah. Absolutely. For surely, but uh thank you guys for tuning in another episode of the Hidden Headman Podcast show. Um I'm checked out at this point, bro. Appreciate y'all.